if you are there and you are one of those people who always ask others oh unazalini oh uh, when are you having your first baby oh tell me na songa si uzai tu mmoja sijui nini i used to hear this also things. thank god for a helpful and a caring partner yani he has just made this journey equal to more than to smooth equal to beautiful hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here karibu sana if it's not your first time here thank you so much for the support kindly hit the subscribe button uh and a, a subscribe if you haven't already and please don't forget to turn on the notification bell button so that you can be notified each and every time i post a new video if it's not your if it's not your first time here thank you for coming back thank you for your support kindly subscribe too if you haven't subscribed so in today's video i've decided to share my pregnancy journey with you yeah so without wasting more time let's get started so uh i've always had uh irregular periods or my cycle has has always been irregular a cycle of maybe 30 days 35 uh there's a day it went up to 43 days yeah so there is this app i've been using since 2016 it's called cycle beats i'm going to insert it here so that you can see how irregular the cycle has been and um so let me say this it has not been easy ama it was not easy for me to conceive uh and i'm going to tell you why or what i went through until i conceived so uh am i audible enough i don't know so so i will start by uh uh telling you what i went through first on uh, this on november 23rd 2019 uh, i had a cycle of uh 33 days and then on december 26th that was boxing day uh i had my periods mind you i never knew that uh, uh, i had my periods until on january uh, around the uh, 4th that's when i knew i had my periods that lasted for some hours on that uh december 26th on uh end of december uh, i felt sick i had malaria i was sick from uh december 29 to january of 2020 on 4th on january on 8th i had my periods making it a cycle of 35 days and then my 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 periods were, were were abnormal because they were so painful uh i had the worst of the painful cramps i've never had ever in my life so that was january 8th and i i was i just vomited on feb i fell sick uh with malaria now i went to the hospital this time so i went to the hospital and uh, uh, i was told i had malaria I started taking malaria medication the tabs <clears throat> and on uh end of feb end of feb i had the weirdest let me say let me use that word my periods were abnormal yani ile kabisa because nilikuwa natoka vitu kama liver and uh, aki, i used to cry each and every time I was having my periods I used to cry kabisa ile tumbo inauma mpaka sina amani I remember this day yani tumbo iniuma usiku hata my partner was scared <coughs> we didn't sleep that night 
so uh, on feb after my periods were were like zilitoka uh, hivyo vitu kama liver i just knew something was wrong so i decided to go for a scan i went for a, a scan at cost general just to know what was wrong so mind you i also i was also feeling uh so much pain whenever we were having sex so i went for for that scan and i was told i had pid pid it's a pelvic inflammatory disease that uh it is it usually affect affect the female reproductive system and uh the person who was doing the scan akaniambia this infection is very bad when de- when you delay with the treatment you might not conceive in future so uh that was uh was that was 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 it still feb yeah just still on feb towards march so i went for for the scan on on saturday on monday uh monday morning i went to georgia hospital i wanted to book an appointment with the gynecologist unfortunately the ones that were available there they were to come on uh, i think tuesday wednesday and uh friday but i was not patient enough so i was given some contacts of one of them and i went to i called booked an, an appointment at 4 pm on that same monday yeah and i followed him to his clinic showed him the scan and explained everything whatever i was feeling whatever i was going through and we were given some medication uh uh both of us my partner and i kila mtu alipatiwa medication yake and i was told i should go for a pap smear uh after my next periods but i was so reluctant guys because there was no way <laughs> nilikubali that i'm having any 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 abnormalities that might cause cervical cancer so mimi nilikata i was so reluctant that was march when we went to the gyno on uh, uh my, then my after the medication my period started becoming regular so it was a cycle of 28 29 or 30 days and then after some months i just decided let me just go for this uh this test the pap smear and uh let me let me tell you the definition of pap smear a pap smear it's a test carried it has it's a test carried out uh from the cervix to check for, to check for abnormalities that may be indicative of cervical cancer so i went for this test on uh, june around june 9 june june 6th yeah i went for the test and i was to go back for the results on uh, june 9th i went back for the results and uh, thank god uh and the results were negative so i came back home and we continued trying to to conceive uh uh we were so yani we were so into this conceiving thing thing or we were trying to conceive uh since the day i went for the scan and i was told i have pid or sidui i might be i might i might not conceive in future so we were trying even until on uh, 
july 7th that's when uh, we tested i tested for the pregnancy and uh, voila I was, the results were positive i was pregnant so that's how my that's how i discovered i was pregnant i'm a even on a lip, that's what I went through until I conceived. So, uh, if you are there and you are one of those people who always ask others, Oh, Unazalini, oh, uh, when are you having your first baby? Oh, tell me, Nasonga, Suzai, Tu Moja, Suzai, I used to hear these things. I'm a Nilkwan and Boise Vitu almost kill a siku. With, people, with very close people, but they never knew what we were going through. I remember there was this day, I was in so much pain. And then my friend, text, my friend texted me, Akaniambia, uh, why are you sick and you are not telling me that you are sick? And I was like, sick? So I asked her, I'm a scare, what do you mean? Because, by the way, I, will, I never told anyone except my sisters and my mom and my a uh, few of my friends. I don't know what I was going through. If you, so, uyu, sikuwa ni mwambia. Nalishanga amegiwa wapi. So, she told me, alikuwa kwa duka, and then, wa mama, wengine alikuwa wanaongea. Or they were saying, oh, uh, karo. Uh, of sister Caro, that is Christine and Clarice, my sisters, waliolewa wakaza, lakini Caro hajaza kwa sababu ako na shida ya tumbu. That's what she told me. And I was like, what? Wa mama wa mtani umbea. Hey, yani, I just told my mom and my partner na yani niliachia tumungu. I was just praying. You guys, I was just praying that God anikumbuke, aniondole tu iyo pain. Because we, iyo tumbo ineza kukoroga, baka we kama, you are going mad. So, let's just stop stop that habit. To see pangie watu when to have their first babies or when to have their second or third Acha mungu afanye kazi yao, kazi yake, na acha hao wenyewe wajipangie wenyewe. Okay? So, here we are on July 7th. Uh, nika test, I'm pregnant. And by the way, I didn't, I didn't know uh, how far I was. Uh, so, I had to go for a scan just to find out. Uh, 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 so I went for a scan and I was around six weeks, six weeks, six, six weeks, eight days. That is like a month and a half. So my journey starts on uh, July 7th when I knew I was pregnant after testing. Yeah. And uh, I didn't show any signs of uh, early pregnancies until when I tested and apart from I was just off off when having sex Sasa, maybe that's the only the only sign nifanya ni jue oh so I am pregnant but I knew after my test uh, and I've been using this application I'm going to place it here since the day i found out i was pregnant with this application it tells you uh, how far you are the signs uh, or the symptoms you are going to have uh how the uh how big the baby is even so i've been using that application and just been very he uh, helpful until now by the way i'm now 35 weeks that's when i've decided to shoot this video and i'm not sure if i'm going to post it before the baby is here or after the baby is here so i'm just shooting 
yeah but i'm going to share it with you whatever the case is so uh i never had any weird uh morning sickness i've never vomited since the day <laughs> since the day i found out i was pregnant i have never vomited sijawai kata chakula except for what are this called there was a time i was really craving for are they called prawns kamba i was really just craving for prawns and i asked my partner to and it's a few days of it so when i got back from work nikapata menu na hizo vitu nilizikula nilizikula yani adika nika ile sikumaliza but hiyo harufu nilikuwa nikisikia na na feel ni kama nitatapika so nilikuja tu nikamwambia just take them toka nazo nje malizia huko cuz sitaki hata kuziona and since then i've never had uh, i've never or i've never eaten those prawns i've never eaten omena yeah i tried cooking omena once and i zilikata tu i think it's because of the smell <laughs> yeah so apart from those i've never i've never had any weird uh morning sickness i've never vomited sijachukia mtu i'm just okay uh my first trimester was just okay i work i went to work from day 1 uh second trimester it was just smooth yani that's the best semester i really enjoyed uh being pregnant i really enjoyed that semester uh, so on, on uh, when i was four months pregnant i think the beginning of second trimester my legs started swelling i'm also going to start a clip here so i So I thought uh it was because of high blood pressure. So I went for uh the Tantinatal clinic. I started my clinic when I was 4 months pregnant and the pressure was okay. Mm, my blood level was okay. So ni mvuto zilikuwa zinafura. And uh, people are telling me I'm going to have twins because is a sign that you are carrying more than just one baby so in my mind i was like huh maybe i'm having twins by the way uh i have uh twin brothers so watu walikuwa wanajua tu pia mimi nimechukua tu hizo nini za kubeba twins yeah and um second trimester also my first you guys can you see i'm now on my third trimester lakini ni kama zimerudi yani niliharibika also i had pimples all over sasa hii ni makeup tu imeziba you see that is second trimester and then uh, mm, what else apart from that uh yeah my second trimester was just smooth i'm going to insert clips and pics here
let me tell you guys it doesn't matter how terrible your morning sickness was how terrible your first trimester was it doesn't matter umetapika kiasi gani third trimester ndio kusema third trimester is the highlight yani first there is something called heartburn do you see all this this easy 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 yani heartburn oh my god haichagui haijui time asubuhi mchana when you are full when you are hungry ukiwa barabarani unatembea when you are dead asleep utamshwa tuna heartburn yani hizi vitu zingekuwa zinajua jina zinanijua jina zingesema karo that's enough cuz i've taken almost 100 tablets of this there was a time i used to take six tablets a day you guys yani i'm telling you this is gold right now and i can't do without them ino are they yeah ino tablets another thing is a uh, sleeping position <laughs> what you try sleeping on your right and you just feel like everything there what are they called easy diaphragm lungs your stomach you just feel zikwapa they are choking you so there's no way you're going to sleep on your right side you try moving yourself in the utan on your left side unalala kidogo and you feel the same or you just feel like you ca- you cannot breathe and the moment you just find the best position you start sleeping in less than 5 minutes of your sleep unamshwa you just want to go to the toilet and pee wa yani the trimester you guys sijamaliza but I, nasema tu ni simchezo simchezo you also been using this lotion and this uh, petrol, petrol, petrol petroleum jelly to prevent my skin from stretching and uh, nipati hizo stretch marks stretch marks occur when your skin is dry so uh, i wish i knew uh, i would have started using original shea butter since day one as for now i've been using this lotions also shea butter or cocoa butter but uh, yeah they have been helping me sina stretch marks ivo sana except the ones that i used to have uko kwa hips ndo zimeongezeka but on my tummy mm-mm. i can't have stretch marks on my tummy i always make sure my tummy is well moisturized when you find me uh, playing mafuta in the morning wa na play your lotion na petroleum jelly na make sure nimepaka kila mahali cuz i had stretch marks on my especially on my tummy on my boobies ziko and uh, i'm i'm still going to use shea butter original shea butter even after giving birth at least uh to make them fed i know they cannot go away but at least to make them fed yeah another thing guys yani i've become black kukwa mweusi do you see my 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 neck eh? 
yani leo nimejaribu tu kupaka paka tu foundation but nimekuwa tu mweusi my face my neck my legs nimekuwa tu mweusi then nimefura nimefura but they have not told you my ki- my kilos uh, uh, before i got pregnant i was around 66 67 kgs when i got pregnant uh, i gained a, a lot of kgs right now i'm uh, on my eighth month and i am 85 kgs so nimefura kufura i also thank god for a helpful and a caring partner yani he has just made this journey equal to more than smooth equal to beautiful cause one he understands he understands me a lot nikimwambia tu mimi nimechoka he understands kama nikupika he just cooks yani he does everything that a man should do uh, to his wife or for his wife when she is expecting kama she is expectant So I'm just grateful to God. <laughs> so guys, I think that's basically it. Uh my next video is going to be uh my gender reveal. And then the next video God willing will be my my delivery story. Yeah. And uh, so thank you so much guys let's pray for ourselves and a natural delivery and uh, bye